Good morning, everybody. Reaper here at OFR, and a beautiful day. It's going to be 80. Rich and I, we're going to go get some plants, hopefully, and start decorating around the pond. I'm at the front pond, though, and lo and behold, <laughs> there's no there's koi. No, there's, no koi. <laughs> there's one right there by the sun, and there's one over there. But there's a cave right there, there's one under here, and one in the corner under the plants right there. So they're they're all hiding. <laughs> Rich came out a little earlier and didn't see any. He's like, what the heck? But they're in here. <laughs> Here's the plants coming up. I know. That's coming up. That's all basically that. just the wheat, but that's grasses. We got arrowheads over in that corner coming up. Yeah. We got all these grasses coming up here. I know. Um the creeping jenny. Uh starting to bring up the uh, tubers for the lilies All right. and that plant we're gonna have to cut that back that's in a pot over there by that little raccoon and it's spreading up on land and down into the ground and starting to attach to the inside of the pond huh. that's a weed too but i love it because it looked cool yeah. <laughs> it was better than bearing this thing. and look this thing comes back every year now same spot oh yeah oh we got a hosta starting up over there yeah all right, well, let's go get more plants. See right there? That last rock, people, between that rock and this uh, pond, we're going to put a big lilac bush there. Lavender smelling. <laughs> yeah. So Rich and I, we're here at Lowe's, actually. We're looking at the blackberries because we can put them along the one fence where the uh, neighbor is. Neighbor is where and the fence stops. Yeah, where the fence stops. And that'll keep the deer away and so forth, so on. And veggies will get blackberries. But... They want 13 bucks for this little plant. I know where they're growing wild, where I do my stealth camping. So that's gonna be one of my projects here. In the next day or two, I'm gonna go in the back, grab a bunch of plants, dig them up, and bring them over to Big Riches so we can start planting them along the, the line back there on the neighbor's fence. That's gonna be an all summer thing. We'll put blackberries across that whole line. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, Big Rich found a couple different type of plants that you can actually put in the water. Picking up some petunias. Nice place. Quite a selection, actually. Alright, we just left Lowe's. Picked up uh, three lilies. Is that what those are? Water uh, lilies? One lilies and two of the, uh, um, the tubers. The, well, two are lilies and one's a uh, what's that thing that comes up out of the water? Uh, There's all kinds of things come out of oh, the water. Oh, you stop it. <laughs> it's water, water lilies and, I don't know, not lilacs, um, it's something else. It comes out of the water about eight inches, and it goes in, and it, it's in the water with the uh, tubers of the lilies. Um, so it, it, it works the same way. I forget the name of them, though. We picked up a seed kit. Got some more grass seeds. Oh, yeah. We're going to grow all them seeds out we got. Did you even show them all the seeds? Yeah. Okay, I did. And we're going to gr nah. start growing some seeds. We're going to have a seed off. And we'll where, are we headed? To read. where are we headed now to? We're going to William Trickers. For William Trickers. Pond plants. Some pond plants. All right. So we get to the store, and it's all the not way open. Way, all the way to William Trickers. <laughs> they, they said, well, we put it on our website that we're not going to be opening this summer. <laughs> Well, you're on Google. It says you're open till four. <laughs> but yeah, they're not open. So now we're gonna see if we can find something else or somewhere else to go shopping. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? We can always go to Aquascape real quick. <laughs> Six hours away. <laughs> and we can say hi to our buddy Greg. <laughs> hey, now Greg would hook us up. I'm, I'd be like, Greg, I'm here to spend some money. What kind of discount are you gonna give me? <laughs> Only we ain't got six hours. <laughs> hey, so the other place is closed, so we're gonna try RMS. And as long see as you think got your OFR mask, you bring your mask? <laughs> yeah, I do. I have it right okay. here. <laughs> All right. All right. So we'll go in and check it out and see what they got. And at least we'll see some fish, if nothing else. Really? Wow.
I'll show you something. The wall of fame. There's Tracy's feet with our old Pima, Big Bubba. There's Tracy holding our snake. Oh, I remember the snake. I had to do that one. There's Tracy standing in front of the thousand gallon. It's hard to see them in there. And this is my garage. There's a thousand gallon. Her name was Doris. And uh, she noodled one of the big hybrid red tail catfish. And then this here, I forget his name, but that's my pool in the center of my garage that she's standing in. And there were some of my cats back then. They were the ones we drove to Washington for in Russia. 19 big cats we brought all the way back and didn't lose any. That's the one with the bulb in the middle. No, that's water hyacinth. Oh. This is their little pond. Some fancy goldfish, they want $59 a piece for it. <laughs> $60 a piece for goldfish. Oh, look at the turtle. 39 bucks a piece for it. Oh, this was his name. Oh, it's Tony. <laughs> it's his cousin. Stoney's cousin, Stoner. Yeah, Stoney's cousin, Stoner. <laughs> Forty dollars for this small piece of wood. Forty bucks. Unbelievable. The prices are. <laughs> Duckies. Aren't they cute? And Big Richie says he wants ducks. Well, here they are, huh? And they're looking at me. I can't walk without losing you, buddy. <laughs> he just keeps stopping. There's your ducks. Uh, aren't they adorable? Uh, they are, aren't they? That's what I said. Yeah, look at him stretching his leg. <laughs> How much are the ducks? What kind are they? The white with the yellow orange bill? Yeah. Okay. Mm. What do you, uh, what do you do with that? Well, some people have, uh, you know, like, they're rabbits, they're rabbits, they're rabbits. All right, well, you know how cute the ducks are? Guess what? We got this. We got the feeder and the <laughs> and Rich is taking home a couple ducks. <laughs> so we're gonna take home some ducks. <laughs> and there they are. And two of them are going home. So Big Rich is going in to get Josh real quick. Show them our little surprise. Yep, they already cracked all over. <laughs> Look at that. What a mess. He made a mess already. But we got a few things. Not much. The store was closed, so. Let's see what we can do. Lazy little guys, huh? So temporarily. This big newspaper stuff. Just too much. 
much for it. <laughs> run from it. It's okay, guys. Just trying to help out here. That. The envelopes that are unopened is what the problem was. Sorry, guys. Let's get it around here a little bit. That's just to soak up because you guys are messy. We had a five minute ride home and they doo-dooed the tar <laughs> out of that box. Doo-doo machines. Got this 110 black container. You see the three others and right now he's making a template. This will be wood up to here and then he can fill this with water. Like you said, there's a couple things there. He might even be able to get a uh, filtering system in here to keep the water clean. So this is going to be the temporary home for the ducks in the pool room. This is going to be the bottom for the ducks. The template we made. Okay, you saw I'm cutting it. It's only temporary again until we get them a little older. You saw Rich's uh, probably little video of them swimming in the front pond already. That was awesome, but we're going to take this into the fish room now and get it set up and finish getting their new temporary home ready for them. Because it's still too cold at nighttime. Right. Okay. All right. Rich's Frontosa tank and the new duckling tank. The ducks got their own fish tank. <laughs> yeah, they, they get to tank. look at their own fish. So filling it up now, we got something to cut to put in the front here. Lock that off so they can't get up underneath. That's where the filter intake is going to be, is underneath there, sucking through that grating, and it'll refill back on this side. We're going to use an FX5. Okay. All right, we just stuck them in their new Hi, temporary Hi. enclosure. Hi. See if they want to go swimming. Oh! <laughs> now, can they get up? Have to go farther over on that side if they can. Oh yeah, no problem. The farther over they go, the lower it is. Yep, no problem. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you just but it's slippery, guys. <laughs> now we got to get some astro turf or something up here to give them a nice, easy walk up and a, you know grassland area. And then, like you said, it'll hook up an XF5? FX5. What did I say? XF5. <laughs> uh, FX. Just a little dyslexic mm -hmm. today, Reap. But, yep, yeah, they're going to love this. And it's cool. It's right there by the sunlight, or skylight. So the sunshine comes right in it for them. Yeah, they're just little guys. They'll grow up in no time. <laughs> That'll be interesting. How about Big Rich and Tracy? All right, just finished planting a bunch of petunias around here for Rich. He gave them to me, chose a spot, and we planted them. Mm, the pond is muddy because Josh just cleaned the filter and all that, so it's muddy. But all the koi came back out, so that's a start. I don't know what they're doing, but that's where I just planted the last petunia, and it's weird. Look, look at all the koi going up after it. I'll have to show that to Rich. I wonder if they're trying to eat it. <laughs> it's weird. Look at that. They're like attacking it. <laughs> well, this was a more of a run around day trying to find pool plant, uh, the palm plants, but didn't find nothing. The one company is closed. At least for the summer, they're only doing mail order only. We found a few things that you guys seen in the video. So we got the petunias uh, planted around the uh, front pond in the back. And I'm getting ready to take off, but I wanted to come see our little guest one more time. It's okay, guys. Yeah, you're a good boy and girl. Yeah. The new addition. New addition to the OFR. No names yet. We got a couple ideas. I still say we're big, rich, and Tracy. Hey, everybody, Reaper here. 
hope you enjoyed that video. I know we had a good time. Uh, <laughs> I told him not to buy them. You heard it in his video. And uh, I don't know, but we're going to see what happens. We got two new additions uh, to the OFR family. <laughs> so we'll see how that works out. I mean, it'll be cool. Um, as you saw, big fish in the way there. Yeah, we ran into Stoney's cousin, Stoner. I don't know, I might have to go back and yeah, bring them back so they can visit each other. <laughs> we'll have to see. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Next one coming up, that's unusual. It's good. The parody of me doing Big Rich. Oh yeah, we should be doing that in the next couple of weeks here. We're, we, we haven't forgotten about it. I haven't forgotten about it. Sorry about my cat, Barnaby. It's that time of the year. Uh, but uh, you guys stay tuned in. Please, you know, if you guys like this, subscribe. Hit that like button. Pass it on. Share it to your buddies. And stay fishing, my friends. And we'll go deeper with the Reaper.